What I'm trying to figure out is if you in the store trying to grab your items and somebody try to walk away, let them walk away. Let them walk away. And then how you came out the store after me, remember you walking out the store. And then gonna come up to my window for what? What is you coming up to my window for? You see the lady didn't want to talk to you. So you think I'm gonna do what she just did? No, sir. No. I don't. Then I sat up here and told myself, I said, well, was this man coming to my window to tell me something? Did I drop something? No. So we good. But anyways, y'all, the last time y'all see me in my last vlog, uh, my hair, I took it down. So we right back with another vlog, weekly vlog, daily vlogging, um, routine, all that type of stuff. Y'all know what it is over here with me. Just a regular, everyday vlogging. I'm new here, my name is D. Do not forget to like, come subscribe to your girl's channel. Check out some of my other videos. So I just came out the Dollar Tree. I had to go exchange something. And that's what I was ranting about. This man in there talking to this one lady. The lady didn't want to talk to him. And then all of a sudden, he gonna come to my window. I'm outside in the car trying to drive off. And he think I'm finna roll the window down? No. The car we about to go to my hair appointment. It's at 9.30. And I'm going back to Tasha. She did a silk press for me before, so we're gonna do another silk press.
y'all like it i love my hair and she just be taking her time too i really like that about her and i was getting my content my ends and tell me what type of treatment i need for my natural hair i didn't get no curls because no so let's get on to some other stuff i need to be doing for today hey y'all so i did switch cameras for a second bertha needed to be charged up after i got my hair did i had to go get me an oil change i went to kroger's in here since from kroger's right now i had to come back to the house and finish my editing i'm starting it right now i'm doing something a little different because it does take me a long time to export these clips and that's because i want the best quality because you can choose faster or better quality so i'm gonna see me choosing faster see if that helps literally taking hours so um right now i'm about to go ahead and leave out the door it's like 1 38 I wanted to grab something to eat. Well, I feel like I could be racing to get in line <laughs> to go pick my kids up. Because that's literally what it is. I'm just like, dang. And I did want to stop and grab, like, maybe something to eat. Y'all already know. And I've been wanting some street tacos so bad. Damn. with me because I have to go to go pick up these boys from school. That was cute little solo lunch babe. I made it to the boys school like around 2.40 and I thought I was going to be able to see Cash go outside because like the pre kers they go um, outside in the afternoon but I didn't see him. So I'm pretty much the fourth car and i just been sitting here i actually took a cat nap yes and it felt so good and i'm just sitting in the car right now i've been on tiktok <laughs> oh tiktok will have you on there all day long so yeah fingers crossed that the video has fully exported like I, I hope so then i can get to working on some other stuff and start exporting these clips from this camera into iMovie because i switched cameras for a second but um yeah okay y'all so we back to the sony zve 10 fully charged up at 100 percent I was like, luckily it's good to have two cameras if you're interested in vlogging or doing content creation because you never know what might happen. So I don't mind switching and actually I liked it because it was way less heavier. I buy Ross and Didi's, grab like a jacket and also like some underwear for them, nothing too big. And then, oh, went to Walgreens and I be trying my best like if I need it, okay but walgreens these little oxy pads y'all these things they had buy one get two free so i got three of them like literally spent um you only had to buy one for seven dollars and 49 cent you got the other two for free hey if i'm lying i'm flying detergent but i like to stay stocked up yeah see i already got some here but I feel like winter time is about to come. Look, 
Let me show you. Literally, I got the three. So, and they always be having them a lot. Like, for real, I'm going to clean up the kitchen before I go upstairs because I just want to go ahead and get that out the way. And take my bath. I got my work stuff ready for work tomorrow. My computer. Um, everything. And my torch is still sitting over there, y'all. I didn't eat no more of that. Like, yeah. And then I do need to um, figure out what I'm going to wear tomorrow. Y'all already know what that issue be. I'm going to put this stuff up. I got to scan my receipts. Yes, I do. I scan my receipts still. So I'm going to clean up this little bit of stuff. And oh, the video exported. It exported and the quality is good. So if y'all have not checked that out, go check that out on my previous vlog, Days in the Life, a full week. And then also I started exporting this vlog too. So we are doing good right now. got some curls because it could have like formed it better but yeah so I like to put it on from the back to the front and it's like a little hair net but I like this because and then I just form it again and then I just take it out onto it but it's like it's holding doing what it's supposed to do and then I put me Wrap cap, said two of them. And then I put this over it because like, this been working for me. Like I feel like you need two, especially in your natural hair and stuff. So, put it on from the back towards the front. And then I'm good, hold on. I don't wear nobody. Nobody wear no wrap cap like that no more. My mama, when I tell you she used to wrap her hair, baby, she used to, ooh, her wraps always came out nice. But, so I'm just, yeah. Good morning, you guys. It's 6.18. I am in the car headed to work. And... I did go ahead and stop at the gas station, put some gas in my car. Gas is $2.54. Okay. And I was on like a quarter tank before E and $20 put me on full. I'm liking this. But I do have a couple things to take care of this afternoon. So I was like, let me just go ahead and bring y'all. So once I get off, I'm going to pick y'all back. Y'all, I was working today, and I had to put my hair on up in this little clip back here. Because, yeah. It was, yeah. But I did get some compliments. They was like, your silk press is so nice. School. And then we do have to go to Nothing Bunt Cakes. Because I have to pick up an order. Drop that off at the house. Now, the mission is making sure... <laughs> that they don't touch these but nothing bun case which they won't my boys are kind of good like when i say something i mean what i say they not gonna touch it yeah they ain't gonna even mess with it
show anybody Super low-key, you don't know Thursday. The last time y'all seen me pick up this camera was when I went to go get my eyelashes done. I got them filled. It was like a week and three, four days because I can't do two weeks. So I got my lashes filled and they came out good. I love my girl. I love my girl. Working from home and I did not pick y'all up yesterday. Tuesday was an upload day for my days in the life. And I just pause, pause. Thank y'all. Thank y'all for taking out the time to comment. Thank y'all for sitting down and just telling me what's right and what's wrong. And me being at this place and open up and sharing. I really, truly am very thankful for one to express myself. Because I know like we have some, you know, people on here. We're older and younger. And it's just a conversation where it needs to be had in the black culture. Especially how we are raised. My mom did the best that she could. She provided food, shelter, and conversations. We never had those. That's how I got pregnant at the age of 15 because my mama never sat down to talk to me. Now you can't really fault parents for how you is today because now you are well aware of things. But I just feel like having conversations would have been helpful for me and helpful for her. But um, that didn't happen, you know? And she is who she is. I mean, I can't make her into something. That's going to have to be her. You know, that's going to have to be her. But I'm going to tell y'all this. Y'all been pouring more into me than my own mama. And I don't know why. You know, we don't have a bad relationship or nothing like that. It's just talking. Talking. I love to talk and pouring into me. And I was like, dang, when I've been looking at these comments, I'm like, wow, I can't recall all these times. But collectively, I've never had that, y'all, with my own mama. Um, Update, I talked to my aunt and my aunt told me that she told my mom, she's like, you wrong. You need to apologize to her. She said she deserves respect. She's grown, you know, and, you know, we'll see thing I know with my daughter and my mom they have a good relationship now me and my mom when I was coming up it wasn't you know as close and I'm happy that her my daughter and her have a close relationship but I feel like it does affect me with my parenting you know what I'm saying like in order for me to not be like her it sh you know should have been had but that's past tense it really opened up my eyes with a lot of things because normally my mom pick up my boys she pick up my boys and I meet her but since the situation happened I've been picking them up and sometimes I'm a little late so it's just an adjustment but it's just letting me know like of course you always need your mama but I just feel like God just you know told me like you thought you couldn't do something and now you can oh so today is nothing going on I actually start exporting these clips in this vlog I already started working on that um y'all put my hair in a ponytail too y'all look at that eee!
Texas anymore. We're in Mississippi. I didn't even do nothing like quote unquote pack with me and prep with me because it's nothing that major. But yes, I did come to Mississippi, my hometown, Greenville, Mississippi, to be exact, uh, for the weekend. I woke up this morning like around 5.30, hit the road around 6. The drive is about six hours. You gotta leave from Dallas, and then you gotta go through Longview, then you gotta go to Shreveport, Monroe, and then from Monroe, you gotta go to um, Arkansas, cut through there, and then go through Ar Lake Village, and then from there, Greenville, Mississippi. So we here, got here about 12.30 gas did good on the car like the, like i filled up before i left and then i filled up again in like shreveport so 15 dollars put me back on full so i did good and i did pray make sure safe travels for me and the boys this is my first time ever like driving out of state with them i never like do that normally it's like me and my boyfriend or me and my mom but of course y'all know because of the situation and you know I didn't have any issue, you know, like I said, her coming, but I, like I told my family, like, yeah, and she called me and we talk about it, then fine. I mean, she could have did it early this morning. I would have been fine with that, but you know, hey, it is what it is. So the reason why we came down here is because today is my niece senior night. She's graduating next year. So um, I felt like I was entitled to come. My sister always show up for me and my kids and you know, and I'm just like, I had to work around my schedule, get some things sorted out, and yeah, so I came. So we gonna be on some family vibes this weekend, and yeah, it, it brings back, you know, memories. And I pretty much love my hometown. I just wish that they can do more here, you know, have more resources. They just got a Chick-fil-A like a year and a half ago. They don't have no Target. But um, living wise here is inexpensive, you know, but um, crime is, you know, an issue here. But um, yeah, and Taylor did not come. She's in college. So I did ask her, but she said, no, she wanted to stay back. And I was like, I understand. Hey, so yeah, we um, the weather right now is 82 degrees. Hopefully no rain, no bad weather. And we're going to just stay here until sunday and then we're gonna um turn back around and go back home the shop hey uh, my sister got me some seafood from i don't know some girl so let me that's her name Big Mamas. Let me let y'all see the food. The seafood is still steaming, y'all. I'm gonna tear this up. Oh, I don't do egg in mine. Y'all, it looks so good. Got turkey neck, corn, shrimp, potatoes, an egg. Y'all, Big Mamas Gumbo in Greenville, Mississippi. was good it was really really good very flavorful it had enough sauce the corn was good i only ate a little bit because every time i come into town the foods that you do not have back at home like where you from you want to eat everything so i told my sister i'm like i'm not gonna finish this i'm gonna eat some now but right now she left me in charge um in case people come by 
So I told her I will. She took the boys with her. So um, eventually we're going to get dressed and stuff. We got shirts for my niece that we're going to wear. So I made it to my sister's house. Left the shop. I got the boys something to eat right now. I'm just sitting down. My head kind of hurting. I started to do my makeup, but I want to take like a little cat nap because I know we're going to be moving around and stuff. But, um, yeah, I think because my head hurt because all that driving I was doing. Yeah, I'm about to lay down because it's about to be us going here, there, and there. But right now, they outside entertaining the dog. My niece has a dog, so they playing with the dog or whatever. Senior night. All her pictures. Look at me. Sister, get in. Okay, then. She said, do that again. Yeah. You Look, uh, uh, Kenny, guess who she know? Who? She know y'all. You, you, you hit the record. One. One. Okay, y'all. So, the last clip y'all seen was when I was going to lay down for a second. So, we went to my niece's senior night. Almost missed it. Because my keys got misplaced and like an hour before her event i could not find my keys we was in the house looking i had went to one store called them they was not picking up the phone so i'm just over here panicking like where can my keys be so i had to put that to the side show up on the field we left from my niece's senior night got back in my sister's car went to the store the store said that they didn't have them look right in my sister's car the keys in her car and i was like somebody had to grab those keys before me to misplace them i would not have drive all the way from texas to mississippi and lose my keys i'm not irresponsible like that do nothing to my like hair and i was just really panicking like where my keys is at so i definitely need a drink but the boys are in the back. Uh, my nephew, he's over there. And then um, my sister, two godsons, they in the car too. My niece is still at her game. So this weekend is kind of like homecoming weekend down here. I guess we about to go to another school or something like that. So, yeah. <laughs> what do you have? Everything. And I call Uh, what juice you got? I got cranberry. Okay, that's fine. Oh, no. <laughs> you said right. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. 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 Look, let me face your mom. I just took her some I'm going to face her now. I'm talking about she coming. Y'all, so it's Saturday, 6.59, October 26th. You're like, girl, why you up? For a reason. The previous clips, y'all seen me out drinking. I was at my cousin's um, little tailgate in the front yard. And just catching up and stuff i did not pick y'all up because we was moving around a lot every time i come to greenville my hometown my sister she gotta go take me here take me there and try to see as many family members as i can because i don't come here that often also my aunt had called me and she's like where you at i was like oh my sister 
and she was telling me because her grandson was over at the house with the boys i'm like hey, with me she said come drop the boys off let them play with um logan i was like okay me hearing that i'm like are you sure she's like yeah i'm like okay so i dropped my boys off to my aunt and i was just so caught off guard because oh no my boys my kids are with me all the time go somewhere is normally by myself and my boyfriend watch them I'll drop them off with a family member and me just you know and my boys they had a good time too and then we went to one of the high schools like i said it's like throwback homecoming here on one side of the school it was like tailgating and you know have it was cooking food and stuff like that and on the other side was like the high school football game so i got to see my uncle and I see my cousin, she's like the queen. And then from there, we just basically went to a couple more spots and stuff. And we went to the casino. And our casino down here, we got two, no three. And drinks are free here, alcoholic drinks. Um, Oklahoma, Winstar, Choctaw. Then you get just free, non-alcoholic beverage drinks. So I had a drink there, which I was just getting it just because, because I had already drank, you know. So we was out there for a little bit, but never mind, because we got word that they was out there shooting at the little tailgate thing, and we was like, uh-uh. And that's the thing about my hometown. It don't be a lot going on here. But the crime, it be just like, what is it for? Why? So the reason why we up this morning is because we about to hit the road. Not to Texas, but to Memphis. From my hometown to Memphis is like two and a half hours. The reason why we're going is because my dad is in Memphis. And there's like a barbecue kickback, one of our cousins on my dad's side. So my dad came, which my dad have not been to Mississippi or Memphis, nowhere since he lived here. And that was like when I was two years old. So he told me about this a while ago. And that's why I said I never told y'all if I was coming or not, because I had to figure it all out. So... I'm seeing my sister. I'm here for my niece and then I'm here to see my aunts. And I get to see my other. It makes me reflect on, dang, I just wish me and my mom was not in this place. Because me and my mom always get along. But it would have been the first time my dad and my sister and me. Like, I'm just thinking about, like, dang, if my mom was here. But, um, yeah, we got to go see him. And spend some time with him and hopefully we can be back to Mississippi I told my sister like I'm ready to go and come on back she's like okay and I'm just straightening my hair cuz it curled up child I'm like uh uh my silk press is normally last and I'm trying to make it last as much as I can I'll probably put it down I'm not sure but, and I need to find a good block because the block that I brought with me to charge my camera up, normally I don't use a block. Normally I just use the USB. It's not working. So the only way I can charge it is in the car and I'm not going to be in my car. Y'all drop y'all comments below, which I already know this. My niece look like me. My sister hated me her entire pregnancy. She don't look like her mama. She don't look like her daddy. She look like me. And um, a lot of people say that <laughs> they be like, um, they've been saying that for years since she's been born. I'm glad that I took the time with family, get some southern food in Mississippi. Y'all, the bath water is so soft, you ain't gotta put no body wash or nothing in it. Let me give you a little OOTD top. Y'all probably seen this before Fashion Nova leggings, it's Target shoes, it is Target also. So the OOTD, 
for today. Okay, y'all. So everybody's dressed. The boys had some breakfast. And we about to hit the road. It's been gone a little bit earlier, but we will uh, see. I don't know if I'm going to be driving the first half. Be quiet, dog. Or is she going to be driving the first half? So this is my dad. Yes, come I don't look like him right now, but back <laughs> in the day, I used to look just like, like him. She was my little heiny. Yeah, whatever that. Well, yeah. she, she ain't no little heiny no more. But he said now my sister look like my mama. Yes, so I guess he infatuated with that. Okay, y'all, so we just leaving out the place in South Haven. It's called Tequila Modern Cuisine. It's Mexican food. Oh my God, it was really, really good. Um, but the drink has me on my tail right now. About to head back to Mississippi. Y'all, I didn't give it a lot of content with my dad because it started raining outside. It's still wet outside because I haven't seen my dad in so many years. And I was surprised that I was able to like get him on the vlog. back to Greenville. We left the restaurant around 2.30. It took about two and a half hours. It's like five or one right now. Half hours here from Texas to Mississippi. And we drove to Memphis. But I'm really glad that I seen my dad, spent some time with him, talked to some other cousins and stuff. And we were talking about uh, my grandma. She is 94, which is, that's my dad's mom. And I need to go see her. Um, I, last time I seen her was probably two and a half years ago. It was like at her birthday party. But I really need to take out the time to go see her while she's still living. With family, spending time with family. Seeing my aunt, my uncle, cousins. You know. And I'm glad my kids was able to, you know visit and meet their cousins and spend time you know my dad they met my dad for the first time and you know my dad seen them on like video and stuff with like the boys you know they hugged them and i was just like that's crazy you know you know stuff it'd it be like that sometimes they just went up to him like he was just like they knew him and then they talked to him over the phone before you know uh previously but i'm gonna pick y'all up it was Saturday. Today it is Sunday. It is 8 11 and we are in the car on our way back home to Texas. When I travel, I gotta get on up. If I'm especially if I'm driving, I gotta go ahead, yeah, get that all out the way. Cause I don't like to be sitting in no car all day long. But I, the last time y'all see me pick up yesterday, we had basically went to my niece's job. I went to go see her at her job. She worked for Ben Kroger's. And then we went to TJ Maxx. Um, 
every time my sister like she's in town or she comes to texas or whatever she always buy for the boys and you know get them stuff you know whatever they need and uh vice versa you know i gave my nephew some money or whatever but we do that and it's because you know we don't get to see each other all the time or whatever so we did that and then went back to her house and i packed up majority of the stuff and put some of that stuff in the car i filled up the tank last night and then got the boys dressed you know and they like clothes and stuff i'm gonna go ahead and let y'all know my allergies is bothering me so bad so like i was saying um when I came on Friday, my allergies was kind of bothering me, but it wasn't like bad. So I started taking some antibiotics and stuff like that. So it's just running out of me now. But yeah, after we filled up the gas tank, I had took my sister. She wanted to go see my aunt. We went to the casino. So went to the casino a little bit, came back, laid down, and I got up this morning. And it was so dark down on country roads because I have to go like through Arkansas and it was pitch black and I was telling my sister even in Mississippi I'm like where is the street lights like they kind of have street lights but the street lights are not white the street lights is like orange and I'm like girl that's how that's how all, all the shootings and stuff be going down y'all got no street lights but crime is crime you know I was telling her I was like baby no ma'am, get me back to what? Texas, baby. Because there's cameras everywhere. I don't I don't play that. She was telling me, she said, just run the light. Just just run the light. Girl, what? I'm not gonna run no light. I want my insurance claim to pay. And baby, the, with the lack of resources, who they gonna reach out to? So but you don't have to really wear a seatbelt in my city like you don't like for real. Like when I moved to Texas and we was talking about the seatbelt, I was just like, where did you get it? You know, that's Texas. So I pretty much went through Arkansas, Louisiana. Right now I'm currently in Louisiana, but I'm about to be in Shreveport. It's about 55 miles away. And then after Shreveport is Texas. a lot of food. 
food that I have not had in a long time. I was very happy about that. I like planned that out good because I was not gonna really eat too much that passed this week. That just passed. Because I knew as soon as I get down there, like my sister when I'm around her, that's how we do eat and drink, eat and drink. Oh, and another thing, y'all, while I've been driving. I've been watching some vlogs, hour-long vlogs. It's been making the time go by so fast. Oh my God, I watched Taja, Carby's, Ebony Evo. I'm about to start its core. So really, I'm getting caught up on everybody's vlogs, driving. Well, let me put y'all down.